Hi, George and Raul, how are you? Hey, what's up? Nice Good. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, so George, congratulations on Come Alive, your song in this movie. And you. uh, Raul, you were so badass in this movie. <laughs> and I saw snippets of your conversation with Maria Hinayosa um, from September and it was so insightful. So thank you for that. Oh, absolutely, uh, appreciate that. So for both of you, what did you like best about working with each other? I mean, I'll start. I mean, Raul, bro, first of all, he not only played my bro, but like he also takes kind of like that brother figure in a way in real life. You know, he's someone that I feel like anybody can confide in, confine mm -hmm. in, confine in. And thank you, man. And uh, yeah, he's just he's just amazing to work with. And I feel like he puts together just great work to look at, you know, in front of the camera, uh, behind the camera. It's just it's just uh, makes makes Roland just kind of kind of like go by really quickly, you know, when you work mm. with this guy. Likewise, bro. I mean, that was for me that like the the brother storyline was so, you know, I hadn't done something like this. You know, it, it's, it's it's funny because it's a vampire film. It's very much a genre film, but the heart of it is this brother's story. It's a story about two brothers and how they look out for each other. And I, I, I have never had a chance to play that kind of thing. And George has made it effortless. Like, I was thinking because we did this film like just up until COVID and then we had to come back to, to LA like we were up like in last September like right after like people were going back into production so we were shooting the last film the last scene of the one of the last scenes of the film where the two brothers meet and it was like this really poignant scene and we you know we hadn't seen each other in months and we we're all kind of kind of you know wiping the the crust from our eyes coming back out of like quarantine and here we are in LA shooting like the end and, and it was it was beautiful it was like it, it, you know it is like this like wild you know genre ride but at the, at the end of the day it's like this if, if we don't have this like family story like with Marlene who plays our mom in, in the film the three of us I felt like we had this real organic like family unit that that was so easy to find and it's amazing sometimes you're on like you know, you, you don't always get that uh, in, in every project. So it was nice to it was nice that we found that that we were able to find that family unit. I mean, make it it makes the, the work kind of effortless and, and fun and easy, uh, enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. And as you were saying, that scene is so tender towards the end with the two of you. You can really feel the vulnerability and the tenderness and the love between the two of you. So yeah. for both of you, what were some of your favorite moments to shoot other than that one? Uh, another scene where like our characters kind of meet in the movie is when we go to the, the one of the parties, which is a, a club where, you know, drainings are going on under underworld uh, activities are going on from the vampire side. Uh, shooting that scene was was a lot of fun just because we had like these super elaborate kind of shot setups and yeah. you know, the movie that takes place throughout the night, you know, given the title night scene. So like just the energy behind the filming of of mostly every single night just kind of had like this this thrilling kind of aspect to it i remember being in that club scene and watching because you know jay is kind of away from benny he's like watching him in the distance but he does you know it's like um and you guys were i was doing my thing down at the bottom you know you guys were up in this up, upper level of the club where you guys you know uh, uh, and we were down here and i actually um there's a vampire. There's a vampire that I that I kill in that scene, and this stunt performer who played this vampire was a stunt performer from Army of the Dead. So we had worked together like months before. I had killed him as a zombie, and now I got to kill him as a vampire. It was it was you know it was it just an incredible uh, experience. Like I'm such a fan of like the genre. I'm such a fan of, of, of vampire films, and like to get to do it like in yeah in this had this club scene was like that was incredible. That was awesome. Somebody laundry go off? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think so. <laughs> it was like a buzz. <laughs> so what have the two of you been watching or reading or listening to lately that you've been really into? Uh, White Lotus was fun. What, what was it? White Lotus. Did you see White Lotus? I haven't seen it, though. That was, was so dope. It. Damn. Was... I've been watching, like, I've been watching, I saw The Maid. I was watching The Maid. It's just so overbearingly like exhausting. So it's a good watch. It's just like it's a tone of the the piece. It's it's a character study. 
and it's a mini series so it goes on and you're just seeing this this lady in different shades of her her career so um, mm. i recommend it if, if you're in the right headspace for it you know yeah right on i watched uh titan last night this french film um i won the palm d'or and that was like it's wild go check it out if you haven't seen it it's a wild uh french film I'm a big fan Amazing. Well, thank you both so, so much for the art that you bring into the world. I really appreciate it. Have a lovely thank day. Thank you for this. Thank you. Take care. Thank